Welcome to our class on the PODS framework. My name is Steve Burge and I'm going to be your guide to one of the most exciting and useful plugins in the WordPress ecosystem. What PODS does is essentially allow you to create your own types of content, whether you are building a site for books, a site where you need staff members listed on your site, a site where you want to build a yellow pages, or really anything which is a little more complicated than simple posts and pages, then you're going to need the pods framework. If you've installed several plugins on your WordPress site, you may start to notice that the left-hand menu gets a little bit crowded. What happens is the plugins create extra content types because they need to add extra features. We've added the WooCommerce plugin, which is a shopping cart, and you'll notice that they have products in the sidebar. That's a custom content type. You can add shipping, you can add tax, you can add the cost, you can add product images. It's essentially a much more advanced version of posts and pages. We've added an events plugin and it's done the same thing. We've added a restaurant plugin, it does the same thing. If we added a directory plugin, that would make another new content type. However, all of those come predefined. If you add WooCommerce, it provides products with a certain set of features. If you add this events plugin, it adds events with a certain set of features. Restaurants, again, they come out in the same way. But what happens if you want to create your own content? Something unique to the needs of your site. Well, in the past you could do it, but it required some fairly complex coding. You'd have to dig down into your theme files. We're going to approach using the pods framework without using hardly any code at all. The only code we're going to use is using some basic HTML code and it's nothing more complicated than you can learn from the HTML videos we have here on this site. Using that little bit of code and using pods, we're going to be able to create some really interesting content types and we're going to be able to display and organize them in some really useful ways. So I hope you come with me and I hope you enjoy using pods as much as I do.